Hello friends, welcome in Oguild, a knowledge and skill sharing platform. In today's Oguild, I Suprabha Joshi, Senior Associate Consultant, iSoftra Digital Private Limited. iSoftra is a development part of Oguild uh, learning platform. In today's lecture of uh, demo lecture of Python for absolute beginners, I'm going to present the following contents in demo lecture of Python. Uh, that is what is Python, why Python, hardware and software requirements, Python application, job scope of Python, one practical demonstration of Python script and uh, full project training issues we will discuss. So first of all, we will understand what is Python. So what is Python? Python is simple object oriented, high level interpreter based programming language. So uh, we will understand each key term one by one. So uh, first of all, what is object oriented? In object oriented programming, we deal with class and objects. These two terms oftenly uh, comes into the picture. What the first is class and second one is object. So first of all, we will understand what is class. So class is is blueprint class is a blueprint for the construction of the object it, it means class give the rough idea how to we uh, create or construct the object and each class contains some properties properties so the characteristics and methods so the behavior so each class uh, contains some properties and methods and what is object objects are real world entities because we all live in real world for example person class uh, person class can be objects Ram, Shyam, etc. So, so now you understand what is the mean of class and what is the mean of object. So, each object that this object Ram and this object Shyam share the common properties and methods of the class uh, student here also. If we can understand this by practical example, this is uh, the way how to create class and objects in Python script. Uh, this code is written in VS code. So we will understand this. So we have this class student and this class student have two properties that is characteristics. First is name and second one is age. And this class contain two methods which so its behavior that is get data and display data get data by which we can the, get the values of the properties name and age and from the, the display data we are just displaying the properties values so here the object ram which is the object of class student and now share the get data method and display data method of the ram uh, that uh, the class of uh, class student the ram is object and class is student so now you all understand what is the mean of class and object now so second term is high level high level means it is user oriented user oriented not machine oriented so user can easily work on this now the third is interpreter based language what is the mean of interpreter interpreter convert the work as a translator which convert source code that is written in English type language this is source code this is source code this is Python simple uh, source code uh, Python script uh, to add two numbers uh, this is first line this is second line this is third line so what Python interpreter do it check the code line by line check the code line by line this check first line then second line then third line if it uh, see the errors in first line it generate the error otherwise it will go to the second line and similarly second check the second line and go to then go to the third line if no error occurs it will convert the source code into byte code byte code mean machine for machine code this is machine code uh, so source codes convert by the help of Python interpreter into bytecode. So now you understand what is the mean of interpreter also. So now why Python? The big question why we use Python? So we will understand. It is very easy to understand. Why we are saying very easy to understand? Just give see the practical demonstration. This is simple Python script to, to add two numbers. If we write this code in C language type, so first of all we have to import many libraries and then uh, uh, we have to write main function then 
opening braces then closing braces then we have to declare the variable a equal to comma b then we have refined a equals to 10 b equals to 20 like this so we have to write many lines of code but in c in python language we have don't, we don't need to declare or define data types so this is uh, beauty of python language the second thing is the freedom from braces and semicolons he, here you can see that no braces or no semicolon require in python so in if you write the code in uh, c or c plus plus or java you oftenly use braces and semicolon at the end of each line so freedom from braces and semicolons the next thing is python is developed under osi approved open source license and it make it freely usable and distributable you can freely download python from uh, a python official website that is https www.python.org it is freely available for commercial use the most important part this is most important part of python that rich set of rich set of set of class libraries this set of class library for example numpy and pandas library used in data science and skypy is used in scientific and engineering purpose matplotlib used in data visualization and beautiful soap uh, is some example of using uh, used for web scrapping we will discuss detail in these libraries in later videos so why python now you understand this is an, another example here you can see this simple one line code in python in java you have to write three to four lines in uh, similarly in python one line code in c plus plus you have two to three line code this is the difference and one difference also here this is the uh, python script for opening and reading the file in Java you have to write uh, this 18 line of code to do the same thing and in Python you need just read to write 3 to 4 line code this is the difference why Python is big uh, better option now uh, if we talk about the current market scenario you can see the Python covered the 30 percent current uh, current market so this is big thing so th that's why Python is demanding day by day in every sectors as compared to other languages these are the hardware and software requirements uh, we need modern operating systems like uh, windows 10 we can use uh, or we can use back operating system or latest operating system we use uh, 86 or 32 bit uh, 86 or uh, uh, it is that is 32 bit or 64 bit cpu we can use uh, as an intel or md architecture we can use uh, 4 gb ram at least we need and 5 gb uh, hard disk uh, space we need this is hardware part and for the software software we need install python 3.6 and related packages uh, if we talk about the python uh, uh, the latest version is python is python 3.10 you can see this is the official website of python.org from here you can download python and install python in your system we will see uh, later videos and if you are using uh, this is the download for the latest version for windows and if you are using other operating system linux unix or mac os you can go to the following links and the final that is pip that is preferred install uh, preferred installer program that is package installer uh, we oftenly use different different type packages or class libraries in uh, python so we just need to uh, give this uh, command like this pip then install then pandas this is one libraries for data science then uh, hit enter key then it will start to uh, install pandas libraries in your python script so uh, pip is very important uh, package installer you oftenly use in python script now we understand what is the use of python uh, python application we will understand so the web and uh, the internet development so most of the work nowadays on web development and mobile development so python is uh, one of the best option for web development also web development uh, in web development we uh, mostly use django framework uh, nowadays and pyramid framework also available and as far as for micro framework we can use flask and bottle also an advanced content management system just like plone and Django, django sorry django cms we can use 
it is available so this uh, uh, this is the beauty of a python uh, framework which make our work our web development work very easy now the uh, second uh, that is scientific and numeric purpose we can uh, as you we know that python is nowadays in use in data science artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning robotics everywhere python is used so we can use these uh, libraries like skypy is a collection of package for mathematical science and engineering purpose uh, we can use uh, this and pandas we can use for data analysis and modeling and modeling purpose uh, we can uh, analyze the data manage the data with the help of pandas library and similarly for numpy we can uh, is a collection of type one dimensional and two dimensional array which is used uh, data analysis purpose also this is one example of how can we uh, use pandas library just we have to need uh, write import keyword then import pandas as is an alias name that pd then tfpd dot reads as then it, it will read the csv file and that's the value of the csv file this is the some one simple example how we can use this so this is a scientific and numeric uh, python application we can also use python in uh, software development and business application development also and enterprise application development also these all are uh, already used python these companies that already use python for uh, their uh, web development and software development these are the big names uh, you can see as uh, if we discuss about job scope of python um, python is huge job scope nowadays because big question why we learn python if we have already any language why we learn python if you go on internet you see the scenario you can work as a python teacher you can work as a python project trainer you can work as a data analyst data analysis uh, do the analysis analysis of data and with the help of python libraries python uh, as we discussed that pandas is used for data analysis purpose we can create uh, make a career in by a machine learning and learning engineer who design the new uh, um, python algorithms uh, which make a, a machine to uh, do the task itself data scientists big demanding field nowadays to manage to manage manage the data uh, and uh, develop some algorithms new tricks how to organize manage big data uh, with the help of some tools and software engineer who design the pattern who develop the software uh, development life cycle uh, so you can make a career in software engineer also and uh, as uh, we already discussed you can uh, make a career in web development also web developer uh, to learn some new framework like django pyramid uh, so you can make a, a career as a web developer and in mobile development also you can make a career python is demanding in mobile development also so this is the job scope of python so python is demanding in every uh, every sectors so in now i will give you one practical demonstration of how we can write python script here i will not install download or install python from python website i will do the uh, i will give you practical demonstration online we use one uh, beautiful uh, uh, jupyter notebook id which is online available just go on uh, jupyter.org once you will click on jupyter.org you will go, you can go on official website of uh, this also you just go jupyter jupyter notebook uh, and this is the official website jupyter notebook once you will go on jupyter.org uh, you just go on uh, try in browser option uh, you have second option to install jupyter lab i am not going to install uh, jupyter lab i will give you practical demonstration online so just click on try in browser uh, option when you click on try in browser option you will see first option try classic notebook here other uh, uh, option for other languages also you have to just click on first link try in classic notebook when you will click on classic notebook then binder will connect it will give little bit time once binder will connect i will show you the beautiful jupyter notebook id online and here you can write your python script 
so we have to wait little bit uh, once it will start so this is the online ID Jupyter so go on file menu then click on new net notebook then Python 3 and now you will have to write I will give you the practical demonstration so you will understand you just type print hello welcome in Python so just right click on run then you can see the output hello welcome in run similarly you can write a code a equals to 10 b equals to 20 c equals to a plus b then print c and go and run then you can see the output 30 now displaying so this is one uh, beautiful online id that is jupyter notebook you can use and directly from internet you can use it from mobile also you don't need to download and install python in your system so this is the practical demonstration now you understand uh, so if we are talking about project training on later videos you can connect with us with our uh, website that is httpsokil.com and our development part that is uh, isoftra.com uh, so here we you can get uh, the la uh, latest information regarding uh, new videos on pythons we will upload all videos in ogil platform so ogil provide you learning platform so this is about demo lectures thank you